hello today I will try to build this clock electronic kit from Banggood uh, they was so nice to send me this so today we will uh, build this and test it this is uh, Wang Datao version 004 uh, there is also more advanced uh, versions but they are they also cost more Check description of video I will put a links there okay let's open package I will try to use my Torino here let's see what is inside okay uh, in this bag is case acrylic case and some screws so we will deal with these later let's see components okay USB cable as power source later seven segment display and some ICs and components there is not too many components your kid can, can probably make this in with little help first I love to check all all the components so here is of course four digit seven segment display here are sockets and here is microcontroller and this is real-time clock chip so this is 15F20 I think this is peak microcontroller I'm not sure but I'm I'm pretty sure that this is peak and this is DS PS302 real time clock I see okay here we have a crystal uh, real-time clock chips usually needs external crystal and couple capacitors to work here is socket for battery and where is battery? It seems that battery is not included. Maybe battery is in this case. We will see. Battery. Couple push buttons. This is a thermistor. Temperature uh, dependent resistor. So this clock will know the temperature in the room. He's a uh, light dependent light dependent resistor. So it will also know uh, amount of light in room. Here we have couple resistors. more resistors power connector simple buzzer and this would be I think this is simple transistor okay here is PCB 
Seems good quality PCB. I'm very happy with it. Let's see what we also have here. Build instructions. So first, what's most obvious? First, I need to wait until my my soldering iron get proper temperature. I will even raise it a little. Okay, let's solder this. I will speed up this video because this video would be too long if I show you all the processes normal speed. First I soldered battery and as you can see the buzzer. I need to say that I uh, with this PCB you don't even need instructions everything is quite ob obvious where it goes. So I'm uh, soldering uh, this connector for power adapter or USB cable cable which is included couple push buttons two of them these are used for adjusting clock for adjusting uh, alarm yes I for forgot to mention this uh, clock is also alarm clock so you can use it to wake you up in the mornings uh, this is crystal used for real-time clock chip and with crystal they are always two capacitors Here is transistor uh, which is used as switch for this buzzer. So that way buzzer can't harm microcontroller. And here is most boring part. Resistors. I hate solder resistors because there are always too many of them and they have these big legs and uh, I don't know why I hate them. Sometimes you need to identify each of them. But in this case all of them are pretty the same. Uh, they, there is 8 1K resistor and 2 10K resistor. But I still hate them. While I'm working I will use time to talk with my subscribers. I hope you are doing fine. I was absent uh, this summer but now I have more time so I hope there will be more videos and projects. I don't usually talk a lot uh, about myself, but maybe now it's time to introduce myself a little more. I'm from Croatia, small country in Europe, and my name is not Volos. My name is Danko. I live in a small town with my wife. I'm 35 years old and I'm a school teacher. I love computers, electronics, programming, I love to play music. And that's probably it. If you want, uh, you can tell me more about you in comments. Right now I'm soldering these sockets for real-time clock and um, microcontroller. I changed my mind. I think that is not a <laughs> big microcontroller. I don't know what is it.
lots of pins. You can uh, tell me uh, also do you love this do you like this channel uh, you can tell me what I can improve you can write me some suggestions I appreciate it very much I want to improve this channel to be better my English is still in mess but I hope one day it will be decent Okay, right now I'm trying to place this seven segment display. I love seven segment displays because they are so primitive and so basic way to show numbers. Person who invented them was a genius, I think. It's my opinion. But uh, they are real, really hard to record in video because the rest of PCB is always in shade and uh, and seven segment displays are usually too bright for camera I will place this microcontroller and uh, real time clock chip looks quite good I just need to solder this temperature sensor or thermistor this is not sensor this is um, a resistor temperature dependent resistor and here is a light dependent resistor LDR I think it's time to try it. I will plug it with this included USB cable and here it is. I choose a white version but uh, you can oh there is also temperature so it says that in my room is 21 degrees Celsius I think that this is maybe correct so I choose uh, and I press button so it won't to adjust time and other settings there is a uh, in description you can see how to check uh, set time and set alarm I, I will not go through these settings because it is very simple so I choose a white version but you can also choose I think red and green and blue I love white LEDs but they are also hard to record right now is a little better if I set up camera this way um, in this kit is also included a case, plastic acrylic case. So right now I will build case also. It's very easy. I think they used la laser to cut this case. It is you'll have uh, six pieces of this plastic it's quite obvi obvious where parts are going and you will secure all the parts with these little screws very simple to make that's it for this week I'm very happy with this clock it looks it looks very good
I will use it on my computer, I will put on my speaker, on my audio interface and that is probably it. Thank you. If you want to buy this clock, visit links in the description. Have a nice day and don't forget to make something. Goodbye, have a nice day. Bye.